Hey everyone, I'm Noreen Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today, 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 we are continuing our intro into Warhammer 40k's tabletop games. And I am here to help you pick out your army that suits you both in combat and on the tabletop, but one that matches your personality. As always, I'm going to be doing a brief description of their lore, their tactics, and the buying guide. I'm going to try to keep it up to a little under $100 or a little bit over. I'm going to try to keep it around the $100 mark. So let's dive right into the Space Wolves, the pseudo Vikings of Warhammer 40k, because calling them actual Vikings is an insult to what a Viking actually is. But I digress. These Space Wolves are a elite close combat army dedicated to ripping their opponents apart while simultaneously having some of the silliest animal names as well as the silliest war gear names. <sighs> the Space Wolves. What makes them Space Wolves though? Well, they have a lot of wolf puns. That's exactly why they're Space Wolves. They have Santa Claus. Anyway, and probably call it Santa Claus. But anyway, anyway, anyway. The Space Wolves are a original founding chapter of the Space Marines themselves. They draw their gene seed from Lehman Russ, the Viking of the Primarch Brethren. Their, how to describe them, is kind of silly. They're like, they're like the cheesy knockoff, the fantasy knockoff of Vikings and what everybody thinks Vikings were in a more poetic sense and a more crazy, they're all berserker sense instead of what Vikings actually were. They use a lot of things that relate to dogs and dog puns and I wish I was kidding. They name a lot of their war gear after dogs, wolves, and ice. Go figure. That all being said, War gear and silliness aside, the Space Wolves are a devastating close quarters army. They typically sit at close quarters to long range versus their mid range capabilities because they don't really have too much mid range, but they do stick to more close ranges where they excel. That all being said, let's get right into how to buy and what to buy for them. This video is going to be rather short because I I don't really know the Space Wolves lore all too much. I know that Lehman Russ stabbed uh, Horace Lupercal and nearly killed him up until he hesitated because he didn't want to kill his brother but yet had no problem killing Magnus, but I digress about that. Or the fact that a spear designed to destroy somebody's soul didn't actually work on Horace, but I digress about that as well. Or the fact that they literally are the army that drinks. Bottoms up. That being said, we know their tactics, we know their lore. Let's dive into what to buy for the Space Wolves themselves. So the Space Wolves actually have two star collectings, which is really good. They have the Primaris one, which you should avoid, and they have the boop, and they have the good one. Now the good one is good. Trust me, this is good because it gives you a plethora of marines to work with for blood claws as well as giving you three wolf um thunder wolf cavalry these guys are going to be your go-to units the thunder wolves and i'm going to tell you right now thunder wolves are nasty they are super good when it comes to actually dealing combat damage but to be honest i wouldn't buy either of those starting sets i would however buy thunder wolf cavalry as well as probably buying the blood claws because you get a lot more by buying this box and this than this. Actually, let me just double check this really quickly. I believe this box comes with doo -doo 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 -doo, and a 10 men um, pack. Okay, and this one right here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. What is this, 15? Is this actually 15? Because if so, there's, yeah, 15. So legit, right off the bat, I'd buy this and I'd buy the um, Thunderwolf Cavalry because for $5 more, or in this case, 
a little bit less actually a lot less for ten dollars uh, 85 95 yeah, it's a little bit more I still think it's worth it more to get the Thunderwolf Cavalry as well as buying the Blood Claws versus getting the start collecting in my opinion now that being said once you expand beyond that there's a lot of things that you can get so the good thing about the blood claws is that you just need the bodies the weapons can all be changed in fact if you learn how to magnetize you can actually put jump packs on them and count them as sky claws which is really funny now with the typical space marines you don't actually want to buy most of the characters like canis wolfborn or um let's see who else wolf lord crumb i'm just gonna call him crumb uh you also don't want to buy like orb the slayer you do want to buy don't buy ragnar blackmane don't buy neal stormcaller don't buy neal stormcaller he just looks bad don't buy loken the trickster you don't need to buy these characters because you get all of this stuff by buying their Terminator squad as well as buying just blood claws and keep that in mind when you do this it's the space wolf it's the space marine trick you don't need to buy your named characters you just need to buy more bodies now with them I would avoid uh, buying snipers uh, because they're elites I would also avoid buying a lot of their typical stuff for a space marine army like primaris space marines because there's really no point in this case instead i would max out on thunderwolf cavalry as well as a unit of wolfen as well as getting these guys heavy weapons you can do this by buying the devastator squad just buy one devastator squad and equip all of them with the heavy weapons as many heavy weapons as you can get this way you can have a ton a plethora of heavy weapons to use as well as buying a Terminator squad. The Terminator squad, each one of those Terminators can be turned into a guy that can join into a squad, which means that you can take a Terminator unit and a Terminator member and stick him into a Long Fang squad, which is their equivalent of Devastators. And with that, that Devastator squad now has a longevity beyond that of a typical uh, squad because that that marine can absorb a ton of firepower and just keep surviving especially if you have them in cover now that being said you can go on from that after you make your devastators your long fangs with your blood claws here because why would you not just buy why wouldn't you buy those over these like there's no reason to buy 10 guys for 40 when you can buy 15 guys for 50 like there's no reason um, once you buy some extra helmets and things and just throw some helmets on these guys they don't look as ridiculous because I will be frank their faces look absolutely ridiculous their dreadnoughts are decent their aircraft is okay these are completely useless their iron priest is completely useless work the slayer is really good their psychers are mediocre and really what it comes down to is getting into close combat quickly and using the unique units at their disposal to do it now their dreadnoughts are actually pretty decent uh murder fang having the worst name in the entirety of 40k um because he's just william murderface is actually a pretty solid choice as well as bjorn the fell handed he's actually pretty decent as well but when it comes down to it wolfen and thunderwolf cavalry will always be better than them and with that i would actually suggest running a couple of these with storm shield maxing out the squad uh, maxing out three squads and three squads and just rushing at your opponent as quickly as possible while taking advantage of all the new space marine abilities keep in mind that each one of these guys on the charge now gets plus one attack which is absolutely amazing and with that being said there is not much else to go with with this army if you have a different idea on how to play this army rather than maxing out close combat units and devastators please tell me in the comment section down below i want to know how you paint these guys your paint schemes if you need help painting 
If you need list advice, if you don't need list advice, just comment what you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel, ring that stupid bell thingy. And as always, check out all the links in the description down below. You can follow me on all sorts of social media, including Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also check out my Patreon. Patreon goes a long way to help supporting the channel. It keeps my lights on, keeps my belly fed, and keeps the Space Wolf puns at ease. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.